I'm back today to share with you guys another um, simple way to make cards. I'm doing this series where we're talking about simple ways that you can feel inspired to make cards when you're struggling. And today we're going to focus on a color combo. So oftentimes if you're having a little bit of trouble jumping in and making something, if you start out with just something basic like a color combo, it's easy to then get your cards made and feel inspired. And once you get it created, then it's like that creative mojo kicks in, right? So today we're using Calypso coral night of navy and pool party this is a fabulous color combo it's one of my favorite color combos and you can see they just it goes really well together and then we're using this stamp set it's dear um dolly and you could use any other stamp set that kind of has these types of images um i particularly i'm going to be using um, these three circles. So let's jump in and get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our Whisper White piece of cardstock, and we're just this is our card base. So we've cut it at four and a quarter, and then we're folding it at five and a half. I have a piece of Knight of Navy that um, I took a quarter inch off, so it's five and a quarter by four and then I have a piece of pool party that I've done the same thing with where I've taken off a quarter inch and then a piece of whisper white that I've taken off a quarter inch. So real easy to do these. Just take off a quarter inch and keep it really simple. We're gonna layer these two together just like this and then we'll set that aside. And then we're gonna need to do some stamping. So let's bring our Whisper White piece over here and then let's open up all of our ink. So we have Calypso Coral, we have Pool Party, and then we have Night of Navy. So we're gonna start with this image here and we're gonna go into the Calypso Coral and we're gonna stamp this kind of down here at the bottom, just like that. Isn't that beautiful? So then let's set that aside because that's a larger image. We want to come in with our smaller image. Uh, I think, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stamp another Calypso Coral kind of in this corner and then also kind of up here or maybe to the side and then I can fill in. Every time you do a card like this, it'll end up looking a little bit different. So now let's go in with our next stamp and we're gonna do some overlapping. Just like that. And then we'll come in with our smaller circle and add a little bit of that pool party. And I'm definitely overlapping on this one. And I added five of the lighter blue, the pool party colors. So let's set this aside now. And we can add it to our other layers. And then with the Knight of Navy layer, we're gonna pop that up onto our card base. Now on this piece, we can go ahead and pop this up. I'm gonna use a little bit of fun foam. I, they didn't have white fun foam when I went to get fun foam to be able to make these. So I got stuck with this colored fun foam and it's not my favorite. Okay, so we can set that aside and then we will put this right here in the middle and we have that beautiful white border and already it's really pretty, right? So now what I've done is of course I've grabbed my stitched circle and I'm gonna grab this sentiment and I you could do it in any color. Um, I think I'm gonna do it in Night of Navy. I'm going to put that right there in the middle and then I have grabbed my layering circles, which then give this scalloped look. And it just peeks out. It's really, really tiny. And then what I want to do is go ahead and layer that. But what I want to do is go ahead and add some dimension um, to pop off those um, images that we stamped. Now we can layer this. 
up here or you could layer it here you could layer this anywhere you want it again every time you make this card if you do this it'll be different um, because you are you'll get a different look depending on how you stamp so we have this one so then of course I like to add a little bit of bling right a little bit of um, a couple rhinestones. So I'm going to show you two different ways you can add rhinestones to this kind of card. The first way is by adding them. That gives you this super beautiful um, bling kind of sprinkled over the card. And then I did another one and another really simple way to add a little bit of bling to the card is by just adding a couple onto our circle. So we'll add two right there and then we'll add one up here. And it just gives you a little bit of a different look. So I would love to know which one you guys like better. If you like it with the bling kind of sprinkled into the middle of these circles, or if you like it on the sentiment. And then I hope you've enjoyed seeing um, the second card in this series where I have used a color combo to create a really simple card. I hope you guys are having a great day. Make sure you come back next Monday because I will be using designer series paper to create a simple card. So thank you guys so much and I hope you have a fabulous day. Hanging out with me today and watching my videos. Here are two other of my most recent videos. I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will catch you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.